Well, hello, I'm Zach Childs, and welcome to another Ask Zach. Today, I wanted to look at acoustic guitars, and specifically, acoustic guitar sound hole pickups. So, I was at one of my favorite record shops here in Nashville. It's been around for a long time. It's called uh, Phonolux. It's uh, on Nolensville Road, and I uh, saw this book. So called Soul Mining, A Musical Life by Daniel Lanois. So I was reading through it and got to a point where he started talking about using a uh, Bill Lawrence sound hole pickup in recording and using it for isolation. And uh, it was a trick that he had picked up from, uh, from the edge. And, but he would use it to get unique sounds or to isolate the acoustic guitar away from the vocal, like when he was working with Bob Dylan. Apparently Bob Dylan would change the words, and because of the leakage between the acoustic guitar, which he was recording with while he did his vocal, he started using this Bill Lawrence sound hole pickup um, to, uh, to record the acoustic guitar through a guitar amp in another room. Well, it made me think about an interview that I had done earlier with John Leventhal, and John had mentioned that uh, in his live setup, he used an acoustic guitar that had a two pickup system. And it, so it had a normal kind of transducer that was inside the guitar to get more of a natural sound that went directly to the PA. And then he had a sound hole pickup, in his case a Fishman, that uh, went through his guitar pedals and into his guitar amp. And that was blended together live. So I started thinking about that after reading the, the Lanois uh, autobiography, and I started thinking about, well, hmm, maybe, you know, maybe that's something worth, you know, checking out. So, the Fishman pickup was somewhere near $200, and so these Lawrence pickups, you can find them, you know, used, you know, for around 50 bucks. So I picked one of the Lawrence pickups up, and uh, live what I did was I, I have a K and K Mini pickup in the guitar, and I plugged that through a, a DI, which I like the LR Bags uh, Session DI, and that you know goes straight to the PA. And then I used a selection of, of well, I use a volume pedal and then a, a couple of you know effects pedals into my guitar amp, and I ended up really liking the sound and getting a lot of compliments on it. So that's what I wanted to talk about today is using the mix of quote, the normal acoustic guitar sound, and this sound hole pickup through pedals. It uh, creates a bigger sound, so it, it might not necessarily be the right thing for certain situations, but in the situation where you need your acoustic guitar to have more command to it, or to just uh, be wider sounding, it's a really great thing. In a large band where you're really needing to just fill a very small uh, niche or a little small you know part of the soundscape uh, you might not want to do this but uh, so yeah so today I've got my uh, this is a uh, Waterloo guitar made by Collings uh, this is their WL14 this is the ladder braced model I picked this guitar up because uh, I went over to JD Simo's house and you know he had all these nice vintage 345s and 335s and I think he had a burst at his house at that point, and uh, he had one of these guitars, and I just couldn't put it down. And so I went over to Carter Vintage, and they had a couple of them, and this was the one I liked, and so I picked it up, and I've been using it for the last couple of years, and I love it. I love the small-bodied guitar. It really works better for recording. It works better live because it doesn't have all that boomy low end. You can play... Um, voicings you know where the you know where the third is in the bass and it doesn't get all boomy especially plugged in great guitar i've been very happy with it uh, also the the k and k mini is a, a great pickup uh, it kind of does a pretty good job of reproducing the natural sound of the guitar it doesn't hype it a lot of pickups hype the guitar's sound and will add these low lows and these really high highs to it that really don't help. So, this again is a $50 
used Lawrence pickup, and this is actually one from the 80s. And where I could tell that was it had the original brass solderless end on it. So, which I guess it could be from the 70s. So, those uh, solderless ends were something that Bill Lawrence and uh, George Lewis developed when they were working together. And of course, they parted ways. And then you have George L's and you have Bill Lawrence. So, but for a while there, they worked together as L and L sales. Uh, so yeah, and I'm just running through a volume pedal, and I have a Boss Tremolo, a TR2, and I'm using a little Echo from an Echo Park pedal, and I'm using my, you know, my uh, Deluxe Reverb. So this is the sound of the guitar uh, without the pickup. So, and this is you're just hearing, you know, the uh, normal, uh, you know normal mic sound of the guitar. And here, this is unaffected. Now it starts getting more interesting when you start adding echo and tremolo. So I'm going to add echo first. Uh, so you start getting, you know, that wonderful thing, which we all love on, on electric guitar. And now I'm going to add the tremolo. great effect. So in, uh, in studying John Leventhal more and some of his recordings, uh, of course I was able to find live footage of, of him using this kind of system uh, with Roseanne Cash and, uh, and it was, you know, kind of, uh, you know, yeah, it kind of blew my mind. And again, this is a really great thing to do live. And uh, again, this is completely stolen from uh, from John Leventhal, so it's this you know the this dual source system using the the K and K pickup you know to the PA to give you your normal acoustic sound, and then using the uh, uh, the sound hole pickup through your um, through your pedals and your, through your guitar amp to get a uh, that other sound that you can blend in. That's what's it's great to use a volume pedal with it because you can kind of be playing normal rhythm. <laughs> You could at certain points of the song let's say maybe you wanted to play some diamonds or something like that well it might not have as much effect uh, you know by itself but all of a sudden if you're able to so there i was going you know back and forth so here i'm going to kind of slowly fade up from the natural sound of the guitar to having the uh, the electric, you know, sound hole pickup blend in. So, I've purposely left the the tremolo on there because it kind of helps you, uh, you know, hear it come in. So, it's a great uh, a great kind of trick to have in your bag uh you know hope you'll uh, mess with it uh, if you really get into it then and if you want to switch back and forth between this setup and electric guitar what you'll need is an ab box and so you'll plug this into the ab box and then your electric guitar also into the ab box uh, and and then you'll be choosing between which one of the inputs go into the uh, input on your uh, electric guitar pedal board and uh, so that's how you could utilize that live along with a, a regular electric guitar rig. And it's very effective. So I'm just going to play a little bit of us out. Um, again, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope this episode makes you think about some different things that you can do with acoustic guitar. Uh, yeah, again, a... Uh, Sound hole pickup is a pretty uh, cheap uh, investment. Uh, so thank you for watching. I hope you will subscribe. hope you will comment below. I hope you will try this technique out for yourself. 
and uh, please share this with others so we can uh, keep this show going and growing. So thanks a lot. Here's a little bit more. Mm -hmm.